All right, Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I would also like to give double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. Um, I'm the brother of Rock from GMS Atlanta, back in the spirit with another lesson. And Lord willing, the lesson be edifying to an elect member too. Uh, I have an article pulled up here from the USA Today, and it's entitled, uh, it's entitled Activists Say Fatal Shooting of Black Girl by Columbus Police Proves Chauvin Verdict is Not Enough. Now, um, as you all are familiar with uh, the officer Derek uh, Chauvin, uh, Chauvin, however you pronounce his last name, was convicted um, on all charges uh, for the murder of George Floyd. Now, on the same day that the verdict came down of Chauvin of uh, being convicted and being sentenced to prison, you had um, in Ohio, this Edomite officer gunned down a 15-year-old uh, Israelite girl, okay? Now, while the verdict is coming down and Jake's out celebrating, like, you know, the second coming of the Lord is here and they're, you know, <laughs> on their way to uh, the promised land. This white Edomite cop is even in the score, okay? One of his was sentenced uh, for killing an a, a Israelite man and he goes out and uh, evens the score, if you will. And guns down a 15-year-old Israelite girl. Now, uh, our people think that, you know, the convicting or the conviction of this guy was somehow a W or a win, you know, in their column. But it's not a win. You know, Chauvin is just a, a everyday average Joe Schmo Edomite. Uh, Esau don't give a damn about his own just... Um, just as much as he don't even, you know, he don't, he doesn't care about you Israelites. Now, Chauvin was a scapegoat, all right, to, to, to silence you Jakes and keep the peace to a certain extent. And then on the other hand, you got these other Edomite cops that just don't give a damn, okay? They, they still shooting Jake, you know, that, that other Jake that got pulled over for having, uh, air freshener hanging from his rearview mirror you know that was the probable cause for the initial stop and he ended up being shot to death you know by an edomite woman who claims that she uh thought she had a taser on now how many times does these scenarios have to play out for you israelites to realize that this guy esau edom is the devil and he's your enemy according to the bible okay even going back to the beginning of genesis esau and jacob warring in Rebecca's womb, um, two manner of nations being in there, okay? So this story has been, uh, be between us and our brother Esau, has been playing out ever since, you know, the book of Genesis, and even to this day, all right? And our people still fail to realize, they still think the white man is okay, and that he doesn't have a perpetual hatred that is spoken of in Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, uh, for 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 uh, his brother Jacob, and he continues to show you, you know, show his horns, show you who he really is. But our people are so gung ho, and what's the term? Uh, damn, what's the syndrome or the complex where you uh start to fall in love with your captor? Uh, Stockholm. You know, our people suffer from a real severe case of Stockholm syndrome. All right. So while they're taking to the streets, celebrating and parading, another one of theirs are getting gunned down on the other side of town. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit in this article. It says, uh, Zach Mani gripped his phone, shoulders hunched over the steering wheel as he sat in his parked car on Tuesday outside a gym in Columbus. He was watching a video live stream with Judge Peter Callhill read the verdict in the trial of former Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Wow. Usmani thought 
as Chauvin was convicted on two counts of murder and one count of manslaughter. In the death of George Floyd, who died while Chauvin had him handcuffed with a knee on his neck. The 32-year-old said he felt relieved but not satisfied. And why is that? Because you Jakes are still under Esau's captivity, man. You're still under the curses of the Lord, you know, for us disobeying and, and going off, man. All right? This prison sentence, if you will, is not totally uh, uh, been served, you know. We're not even on work release, man. We're still in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the cell, if you will, you know. Now, it's not chattel slavery where yoke, yokes of iron are upon our neck, but we still psych psychologically um, uh, in, in slavery, man. He, the Esau Edom has the mind of our people, man. And once you get the mind of a, of a certain group of people, then you have them, man. You have them at every angle, you know. Um, it says the 32 year olds, the 32 year old said he felt relieved, but not satisfied. I hope people recognize that this is not enough and this alone is not justice. Yeah, we won't be totally uh, justified or um, exonerated. Uh, that's not the word. Well, we won't be completely justified until our Lord and Savior, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai comes back to redeem us. You know, as it tells us in Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, where it says we will go into Egypt, you know, Egypt being symbolic of the captivity that we're in now, a place of bondage. Okay. And we will be um, sold as bond women and bond men. And no one shall buy us. And that word buy goes into being uh, redeemed or being bought back. All right. So that's the only way we'll be justified and exhorted. Um, not exhorted or extolled above this devil. Okay. Which is going to be true uh, justice. You know. And the Lord gets his justice by blood. You know. By judgment. All right. It says. A half hour later, news broke that Columbus police had shot and killed a 16-year-old black girl after responding to a 911 call about an attempted stabbing. Now, the young lady, I seen the video, she has a knife in her hand. And you think that you're going to be able to weld a knife uh, in a fight and try to harm an individual in front of the police. Come on now. You know, and our people be trying to play the victim, which we are the victims, but you got to use wisdom, man. Don't give this devil a reason to come down on you, all right, if you can't avoid it, you know. Um, this is Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh. Now, our people look to the judicial system of the devil that has them in ruins, man. They're looking to the same legislation that has them last in this society to help them when Esau Edom comes against them. They look into the same legislative system and the, and, the, and the courts and the judges that are Edomites to have their best interests at heart, man, you know. This is crazy, but our people won't learn. They won't listen. Uh, so a little bit more in this article, it says the deep sigh of relief drawn by the black community protested activists and allies after Chauvin's guilty verdict were punctured by news of the death of another black person at the hands of the police, which is the norm nowadays. You know, you'll be... Uh, You'll, it'll be a damn, uh, the, a hell will freeze over, if you will. If you go a couple of days or weeks or even months without seeing another police killing of a so-called black person. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children that say to the Lord that take counsel, but not a woe. So like I'm going to reread that Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin into sin. And our people, uh, 
laden with iniquity, man, and then expect for the heavenly Father to accept their uh, their their sacrifices, if you will, or their pleas for help. You know, keep running to Esau, Edom, man, and your other gods, and see where they help you in the day of trouble. You know, where they say keep that same energy. All right, they take counsel, but don't want to look to the Holy One of Israel for all the answers. You know, which He hasn't. You know. That walk to go down to Egypt and have axed at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadows of Egypt. And shadows shadows represent a covering, you know, a place of security, if you will. You know, that's where our people think their security is, man. In the in the uh in the sight of these Edomites. All right. So um you get one more precept. Um This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all the commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall fall upon thee and overtake thee. And the curses spoken of from, uh, from verse 16 on down are clearly overtaking our people, man. Clearly. You know, you can't even... Ride around with an air freshener in your window without being gunned down, you know. You can't even, <laughs> you, you, which you shouldn't be, but George Floyd, the whole thing from him being uh, kneeled to death stemmed from a counterfeit 20, man. This guy is reckless, man. He's dangerous, and our people continue to play with this guy and also trust in him when it comes to trying to get him out, you know. Same devil that has his foot, in this case, his knee, <laughs> on Jake's neck, they still look to him for help, man, which is ironic as hell. But our people are in a trance, man. They're in deep sleep. Esau got them in the trick bag, all right? Um, so, amen, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Us, Rekakwadash, uh, Salakia. Why do you guys not know how to dress themselves? What do you mean? Girls will find you more attractive than information was that a caller said females were there trying to stab them and put their hands on them. <laughs>